welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sorry we're in my car again. I really meant to do the update um, at my house like a normal person, but um, things have just been really crazy between um, work and my husband's now playing softball and we're still working on getting our dog house trained and activity trained and, um, and at the house we've been kind of, we've been working on the tractor and my truck and anyway, it's um, things have been a lot busier than I had anticipated. So um, I just, I did want to make this update um, specifically right now because I just had a very successful experience at the supermarket and I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I don't know how many of you actually are following my blog at all, but I did um, touch on the fact that it seems, uh, whether I wanted to believe it or not, that I have actually cured my metaphobia. I mean, that's that's still just absolutely insane for me to think. Um, but I, I really do, I, I'm, you've been living with this for, you know, well over 20 years and you're just, it's a really hard concept to, to grasp. You just, for me, I'm waiting, you know, I was waiting for that other shoe to drop to be like, yeah, this isn't going to work. Um, you know, something's going to happen and I'm going to go backwards. And, uh, I just, I have it. And, uh, the last session that I had with my consultant, you know, she, she had said, well, maybe you really are cured. Maybe you are just cured. And, you know, and I didn't want to put too much hope into it. Um, but I've got to say, uh, everything has been just going so, so well. And I've been able to, uh, do things that I hadn't been doing before. Uh, just like this evening, I went to the supermarket by myself. Um, you know, this morning before I left, I took a picture of the list thinking, well, maybe I'll go, maybe I won't, but I should probably um, go and get it done. My poor husband does all the shopping. He does um, cook most of our meals. He starts most of the laundry. Um, I get the crappy task of putting it away. Um, but <laughs> anyway, um, so, you know, he does so much stuff and I just, the last couple of years, I just haven't really done um, no, the last eight years, I really haven't done a lot. Uh, so, you know, I decided to go this evening. There was no panic. I didn't give it a second thought. I just, you know, I was lost in my own thoughts on the way there instead of worrying about what I might see or what I might touch or what, just all those things, those exhausting things that I used to think uh, before going anywhere or doing anything. And I just, I didn't have that. It was, it's, it's a really great feeling. I mean, I just, I feel, I feel like it's silly, but it's really not. For people who live like this, like that, like I used to live, it's, you know that feeling, you know how, just how awful and exhausting and abnormal and crazy you feel all the time. And uh, I just, I feel so normal and I'm like so proud of myself because I'm so normal and, um, I just, I felt like a normal wife doing normal things and going shopping and deciding what to have for dinner for the next few nights that I'm actually going to make. <laughs> and, um, so this is, it's really, it really works. You guys, it, it really freaking works. Um, so another experience I had, which I did post on the Thrive Facebook page, um, warning, kind of gross. Uh, it does deal with sick. So, um, click away now if you're not quite there yet. Um, so I went out to lunch. N normally for me, um, I run to the grocery store, I grab a salad or some soup or um, something and some fruit and bring it back to the office and eat in my office. Um, I just, it gives me, I don't like to sit in the break room um, just because it's, there's the chair, chairs are uncomfortable. And um, so anyway, I ran to the grocery store to get my usual thing. And as I'm walking through, the produce section, I just, I hear this kid just coughing and coughing and coughing. And, um, I get into the aisle just in time to watch the child cough and, um, vomit on the floor. And, um, you know, normally, normally we're used to what I used to do 
is I would have um, just hastily thrown my products into whatever refrigerated section was the closest to me because I'm not a complete jerk uh, but somebody would have still had to put it away <laughs> and just run out of there in a complete and utter panic attack and I probably would not have eaten for two days to make sure that I was safe because maybe I had breathed some of her um, vomit laden spittle or, or something but you know this strange feeling of meh came over me like you know it's, it's not a big deal I felt more um, embarrassed for the little girl uh, sorry for her and, and for her mom who's trying to now she grabbed one of the um, produce sacks and was holding it in front of her and trying to get the child to keep everything in this bag and um, uh, you know all the while apologizing to everyone around her like she could help it and um, I, I don't know why, but I, I stood there and I, I watched the, the whole thing unfold. I, I was almost frozen. Like, I wasn't thinking about me, but I was thinking about, you know, what was going on for this poor kid and for her mom. And I, I don't know. It was just, it was really strange, a completely opposite. And I think somewhere I, I was considering the fact that that the reaction I was having just in that moment was not normal for me. Um, so uh, when I left there, you know, and I kind of felt Ooh, gross, well, you know, everybody who watches somebody vomit, yeah, it's kind of gross. So I didn't give it any more thought, you know, I was just like, yeah, that's pretty gross. But I went and I went back to work and I ate my lunch and continued about my day and I ate my dinner and the following day, I mean, I've been eating really well. <laughs> um, probably too much. I've gained, um, so far, I think 10 pounds back, uh, which is where I want to stay. I don't want to gain anymore. Um, I did have a problem with being a little bit too heavy, um, after I quit drinking. So, um, yeah, I just, I've been eating really well and that experience normally would have thrown me off kilter and it didn't. Uh, it just didn't. I mean, um, so, you know, I've hauled my horse an hour and a half, um, each direction, two hours each direction. Um, I mean, I'm always a little bit tense. I'm still tense, but I'm, um, it's less and less, um, and I haven't been having panic attacks when I'm, you know, actually driving, um, anymore. And, uh, I've done couple of campouts and several trail rides. We've gone over bridges. Um, she took me over some uh, fallen rocks and uh, we just went completely off-roading um, a couple, well, it's probably been a month now. Um, and just, I, I'm living life. I, I'm living life. And uh, my girlfriend who is um, an airline worker, she does um, desk and tickets uh, at the airline actually has, you know, she's got a friend pass or, or whatever. So, uh, we are trying to plan a girl's day just to San Francisco for the day, just go and, and go shopping and come back for the day. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm not worried about what's going to happen or, you know, I, when I get on the plane, I'm probably going to have that natural, um, reaction. My body's probably going to take over and be like tense up a little bit. Um, but I am not bringing my pills with me. I'm not, I'm just, I'm not going to. Um, so again, I, I really didn't want to make this in my car. I wanted to be sitting down and paying attention. And, um, but I just, I feel so good about my grocery store experience, both of them now and, um, everything else that's been going on. And I just, I haven't been, uh, I haven't taken the time to update from home. And I just wanted to, to get it out there and get it done and, and let you guys know how well I'm, I'm doing and uh, that this program really does work. It, it, it's amazing. It's uh, liberating. I just, I feel amazing. And um, so this, what Rob Kelly has done for us in all of his years of research and work and, and treating other patients, um, it's it's amazing. You should take hold of it and, uh, take advantage of what's out there. Um, so anyway, I hope to, uh, I've got a wedding to go to this weekend. Um, and <laughs> 
couple of other things going on, but I do hope that I can sit down in my living room at some point and do a true, honest um, review. I guess not a review, but an update and a, um, hey, I'm cured, I really, really am, uh, video for you guys. Um, worthy of actually being posted on the Thrive page um, from my car is a little sketchy, but anyway, um, I hope you guys are all doing well and that some of you have uh, taken from this video series something positive, something helpful. Um, I hope that some of you have ordered the book um, or c contacted a consultant if you already have the book and, and weren't quite sure where things were going. Um, just do it. Do something. Do anything but sit here and be miserable because this, this is amazing. So, um, again, I hope everybody's doing well and until next time, take care.